from Candy Reese to Parties Extra. We are at the Oklahoma's Video Studio in downtown Oklahoma City. I'm Helen Ford Wallace, and we are here to talk about Candy's Needlepoint Projects. She's a needlepoint artist. Welcome, Candy. Thank you, Helen. Well, you've been really busy with your projects. You've created 10 Christmas trees and your yes. latest one for your home. That's yes. for your home. Yes. Please tell us about your latest one. Oh, well, my latest one is one of my favorites, the Oklahoma tree, where um, I just had 110 different um, ornaments painted for all the different sites in Oklahoma, mainly Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. And it took about three years to stitch them all. And I love this tree. <laughs> I love it. And it has, um, it has friend, it has businesses, some businesses on there. A lot of there, businesses. But it's also got this huge um, An topper. Indian headdress. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the topper for I'm, the tree. Yes. Uh -huh. I need it to be something spectacular uh -huh. and so beautiful. So uh, all these ornaments, and you have some, yeah, I think you brought some of them, are about Oklahoma and Oklahoma City mo mostly, I think. Yes. You yeah. have, um, tell us, B.C. Well, Clark. Uh, B.C. Clark, mm -hmm. yes. One of the great old businesses. And yes. And of course, Loves, but mm -hmm. uh, our Oklahoma State Fair and uh, the Pops Bottle, the Devon Tower. Um, my capital with the dome on it. Crow Dunn. Yeah, of course, Crow <laughs> Dunleavy, yes, where my husband's an attorney. Uh -huh. And uh, gosh, down by the river and, um, and all the, uh, oh, what are they, the, uh, all the rowing homes down there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, At the boathouse? Uh, yeah, the boathouse. And your, your ornaments are beautiful. I mean, n not Thank only you. have you, um, you have a daily Oklahoma one. Too, I think. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. I have the newspaper and uh -huh. also the front of the new building. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, but they're all. I mean, they're just they're designed well, and you have them set thank perfectly you. on your tree. Oh. Perfectly. Yeah. Thank they you. just thank look you. great. So, um, and at the bottom of the tree, what's there? Well, I did uh, a fence around it with a teepee and some buffalo, and of course some oil wells. So, <laughs> for man. Oklahoma, uh -huh. yes. Now so. that that's some kind of a tree. So the Oklahoma it tree, is. how did the Oklahoma tree get started? I did one with a friend um, who's deceased, Ann Niemeyer, to sell at an auction for uh, children, mm -hmm. uh, Assistance League in Norman, and we made like 36 ornaments about Oklahoma. But since then, Oh, Oklahoma has so changed, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so so you I decided to started, do your own trip. I wanted my own. Mm -hmm. I knew that from you know mm -hmm. from back then, but but I even have things like, well, that one with the sunset. I mm -hmm. mean, Oklahoma has some of the prettiest of sunsets. So mm -hmm. um, also, I have like twelve uh, guitars on there with all not all because there's so many great. Um, country singers mm -hmm. in Oklahoma. Got Garth? Yeah, of course I have Garth and Reba mm -hmm. and, and um, Toby. I have Toby, mm -hmm. yes, and uh, Carrie Underwood and mm -hmm. Blake Shelton. Oh yeah, I mean I have, and lots of the old ones too. So. I mean this tree is packed with stuff. It's packed with mm -hmm. uh, things we love about Oklahoma. Very sure. well designed. So, well, thank okay, you. so um, how about some of the other trees? Candy, well, tell us about the candy tree. Well, with a name like Candy, <laughs> that's how it started. And lots of times how a tree will even get started, I didn't start out to make 10 trees, but uh -huh. I'll do like some candy bar ornaments. Mm -hmm. And then you make more and more, and you think, oh, I've got to take that off the big tree, and I'll just do, you know, a candy tree. Uh -huh. So then you make a whole bunch more uh -huh. to go with that. So, so we have Snickers. Sure. We have... Um, there are lots of Reese's, Reese was on there. <laughs> yes. Reese's pieces. Yeah, uh -huh. there are lots of those. So, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, every kind of candy bar you can think of, and some of the old ones like Sugar Babies and Slow Pokes, and those that I liked, you know, uh -huh. growing up. Uh -huh. So. And um, where is that tree in your house? It is in what I call my little hobby room, mm -hmm. where I s like to sit and stitch. Mm -hmm. So, That's, is that where you stitch? Yeah, a lot. Uh -huh. So. Well, yeah. you have lots so. of pretty things in there. Plus, you have a closet. 
Thank they're you. for storing Full all of yes. do you put all your Christmas things back in that closet not in that closet they go upstairs in a great big closet uh -huh. oh yeah they're packed away safely because you have to take care of you know mm -hmm. needlepoint and it's gonna mm -hmm. be around here another 300 years for somebody mm -hmm. so um, no I take very good care of it and this is but, one of your first pieces that yes. you ever did tell us about that and this is kind of funny okay so my precious aunt Elizabeth Beavers now she is 97 and still living, she does not stitch. But when I was eight, she taught me on this very piece, um, and some of you would recognize these old chair seats where everybody had them on their dining room table. <laughs> the center was already stitched, mm -hmm. and you just do the background. And it's the old continental stitch, so everything gets stretched way out of whack and has to be blocked. And um, I now have all eight of these chair seats. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but something special. It's, anyway, but, it's lovely. Oh, well, it really thanks. is well, lovely. Well, thanks. So, but that's where I learned. Uh -huh. so. And so, okay, back to your trees. We have the, we have a little dog tree. Oh, yes. Oh, we have three little dogs <laughs> and they are just, you know, near and dear mm -hmm. to us. They're our family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just started off with little dog bones, like the 12 days of Christmas of dogs. And um, then gradually started putting some of their toys on there, but mm -hmm. the top of the tree is uh, a bed with three dogs on it. Stitched. Now it's, yes, mm -hmm. but uh, the little dogs are a little, you know, clay, uh -huh. but um, because they sleep with us, and I mean, it's, it's their home, <laughs> so anyway, so the dogs have a darling. The darling tree. It so. is precious. So. It is precious. Then you have a golf tree. I have a golf tree because I'm married to a golfer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. So, um, and that just got started because more and more, you know, golf ornaments. And so I gave Bob <laughs> his own. And uh, a Santa stands next to it holding a golf club. Uh -huh. so. it's, it's pretty good size, too. It is pretty good mm -hmm. size, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a I mean, it's a slim, but yes, it's mm -hmm. it's still a seven foot tree. So okay, and then um, you said that there one it of your, is. Oh, yeah? yeah, one of your favorites is the Americana tree. Oh yes, and that got started. Uh, well, I've now been to all fifty states, mm -hmm. but as going through the states, you know, I had to make an ornament to go on the family tree, and um, when I had like I don't know, I'd been to like forty seven states. Mm -hmm. Bob said, well, let's just finish them off. Mm -hmm. And um, so Alaska and Maine were my last states. And so How do you went think of what to put on them? Well, of course, lots of these ornaments of each state is uh, they already have canvases mm -hmm. for. Uh -huh. And so I, you know, Could stitched them uh -huh. along. So. Right. But then I just began to add every patriotic um, and our fire and police and, and uh, all the military. And I love it. <laughs> I, well, I love America, so um, anyway, so that's how the patriotic tree, and of course the whole top of it is our American flag, so I love that tree. Well, and that sits in your den. In the den. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so then you have a Naples tree, and you have a yes. Michigan tree, and you have a... Or Harbor Springs. Uh-huh, you yes. have, I mean, you have needlepoint everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. And our bedroom is one with angels and crosses and has the nativity with it. So, um, yeah. That. And it's beautiful too. And then well, you have all you. these Christmas stockings. I have made a G in Christmas stockings. So For everyone oh, in yeah. your family, I bet. Everybody in the family and mm -hmm. a lot of other, um, you know, sweet friends. Mm -hmm. have, mm -hmm. have, uh, yeah, there they are. Mm -hmm. So, that's one thing to uh, uh, to needlepoint. So we'll have what, to show your next, you. Yeah. This is your next project. Sounds okay, like. so I'm making another nativity, but it's all cowboys and a cowboy na nativity. A, a cowboy uh -huh. nativity. Mm -hmm. And since I went to Oklahoma State on the little wagon, I decided I'm going to start with OSU on there. <laughs> so, so hopefully, well, I will. I'm such a stitcher anyway. By next year, um, I will have this finished. But uh, of course, the little pony. It's got to be changed to black for a bullet anyway. Oh, look, so you're so. just going to kind of, that, that's your darling. Well, so you're all set you. to go and that's I'm what you're working on I'm all set to go, now. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be starting this, so. Um, 
You do uh, on this. You did the continental. Is that just the continental? Uh -huh. So, the but you have stitch. all kinds of stitches going on here. Oh, I mean, yes. many kinds. Oh yes. So, how do you know how to do all those? Well, I've gone to lots of classes, uh -huh. and I'm in two different needlepoint groups that uh, we share stitches with, and um, we teach each other. But oh my goodness, some of these great teachers around makeup stitches and the new beading techniques. Um, there's so many different kind of fibers now with silks and metallics and, oh, it's wonderful. It's way past wool and cotton like grandma <laughs> used to use. Uh, so. Neon colors. Oh yes, uh -huh. tons of neon colors. Mm -hmm. So things that sparkle, oh yeah. All, so. all these things are sparkling. Oh and, yes. And um, so how do you think up these projects? I mean, do they just come to you? Oh. Well, there are so many canvases out there, so many artists that uh, do them, but um, I'll point to this purse here. That was a project on a, a needlepoint cruise, mm -hmm. and uh, of course Bob went with me, and the days that we're at sea, um, we stitch, and uh, the other days we're just like everybody else, you mm -hmm. know, um, going to sightsee. But, um, you got um, belts, you got shoes. Belts, yes, and, uh, and many, of course I had to make purses. a thunder bag, uh -huh, yes, uh -huh. to go to the games. Uh -huh. And um, uh, and you and make also, things for friends too. Oh yes, mm -hmm. I've made lots of things for friends. Uh -huh. so. And I've made Bob, I don't know, he thinks around 20 belts. So <laughs> I'm glad he loves to wear them. So. <laughs> Well, these shoes are but, darling. The sooner, well, so, I mean, you. you're ready. For this. I know, uh -huh. I know. So yes, we've so got we we have OSU shoes. shoes and we have OU shoes. Of course, uh -huh. because we are a house divided. <laughs> I'm OSU, Bob OU, but <laughs> we love them both. So. Well, does your does anyone, does your daughter stitch? My daughter does stitch. Uh -huh. um, she does work full time, so she can't stitch mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. hours that I put into it. But yes, she didn't have a choice. <laughs> she had to learn to stitch. She loves it, so That's and awesome. she's a very good stitcher. And you, you, you need a point together with friends here. Oh or? yes, I have a group here. There are like eighteen of us, and mm -hmm. we stitch um, the third Thursday of the month. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of talking and eating, but mm -hmm. but no, we are you keep we're right serious. On we just keep uh -huh. on stitching, yes, uh -huh. because that is something you can do while you watch TV or, mm -hmm. you know. And and you said to me that no matter where you are, if you're talking on the phone, you're stitching. Oh yeah. If you're in the doctor's office, office you're stitching. stitching. Mm -hmm. If we're traveling, there's always something in my purse. Well, so this is very holiday-ish. I mean, your house, oh. your house is exquisite. It Thank really you. It really is. Thank you. And so oh. when, when it's over and you put all those trees upstairs or whatever you're gonna mm -hmm. do with them, then do you, you bring out some of these other things? Do yes. we have, uh, we oh, have yes. boxes and? I, I, I have normal things too. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of needlepoint pillows uh -huh. and, uh, uh, and quite a few um, paintings or, you know, uh -huh. um, that are wall hangings that I've done that are, are framed that. I thought um, the cutest thing in your house was, one of them was, um, you did the needlepoint, uh, the B.C. Clark, Clark jingle. Yes, yes. I mean, in, in letters uh, and yes. everything, and then had it framed. And added jewelry to uh -huh. it. It's so, adorable. Yeah, so I just, well, who doesn't love, isn't that Oklahoma's Christmas Carol? Uh -huh. So it's our, it's our favorite, and everyone knows it. Um, and then I also made one for the Clark family. Oh, I bet they love so it. So they, they Treasure did. that. They, they will treasure They did, that. so. Um, the other thing that, um, is that your front door is a big, huge wreath. So tell us about that wreath. Yes, um, it is for uh, the night before Christmas. And um, there are like 12 little stockings on there that tell the whole whole story of uh, the night before Christmas. And uh, I did that for a tree hmm, many years ago too, and just always wanted to do it again. And finally found all the little canvases. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so, no, oh, love that, and had to put the storybook right in the right in the middle of it. So, uh. um, and uh, I think we talked about your Christmas stockings, but you have two mantles filled with Christmas yes. stockings. Yes, which I thought was really kind of clever. Well, thanks. Uh -huh. So, yeah, and that one room has all the patriotic. Uh huh. It it, it does patriotic indeed. things. So, so but, about how many um, pieces do you think you? 
Oh. Stitched. If How I, many pillows, maybe? Oh, if I knew, I wouldn't tell you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's probably going to watch this. So. <laughs> but I needle pointed a few chairs. And How many then, years? Um, though? Now tell that. that I mean, that, oh, make, that makes a big difference. Well, now you had that in your story mm -hmm. that I learned when I was eight, and mm -hmm. I've been doing it 60 years. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. a lot of that's canvases. That's a lot of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Little, big, huge. Sure, yeah. What's the biggest one you've ever done? Mm. Biggest project is, um, well, it's at, at our home in Naples, and it, it was a rug, but it's all koi fish, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, like a 42-inch round um, piece. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. So that's probably my and your smallest my biggest piece. A little ornaments. The little yeah. ornaments. Uh -huh. Yeah. Love ornaments. Well, yeah. I cherish my ornament, my Oklahoma ornament. Well, it is exquisite. Well, sure. well, I mean, they're all, they're all, every single one of them. Fabulous. They are, they are special. They're mm -hmm. just little, I know. Works little of pieces love. Of, uh, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. well, anything else about it that you want to talk about? Needlepoint in general or just the. Well, the, one, I, I just hope more and more people will. Um, Get stitching again. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a lot of people, it's a lost art, but oh, it's wonderful. I mean, it. Um, of course, for me, it's very relaxing. But um, yeah, I just want there to be more passionate people about needlepoint. So there is a um, a fairly new needlepoint store back again in Oklahoma City. Oh, good. So um, it's in Paseo, mm -hmm. Sucasa. Sucasa. Mm -hmm. Yes, and. Uh, and I mean, if you get in there and get shopping, we'll we'll get a bigger needlepoint store. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, she'd be glad that's to Liz add on. Liz McGinnis and her daughter. Uh, what's her daughter's name? Uh, Lynn. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's yes. great. So that's a good place. It's great to have one again. Mm -hmm. So get in there. Mm -hmm. Get to stitching. Yeah. Well, exactly. thanks, Candy, for sharing your Christmas ideas with us. Your house is truly amazing, and Thank also, you. you had a great Christmas party for everyone to enjoy seeing your creations. So. You are a true artist. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, Ella. Thank, Thank you. you.